there's warning signs everywhere. You know, the modern day American leftist keeps telling you how great Canada is. We should be more like Canada. Whenever they don't get what they want, what do they say? We're moving to Canada. Of course, Canada, the great liberal utopia, where words are illegal, where professors like Jordan Peterson are sent for re-education, where if you protest the wrong cause, your bank account will be frozen. They keep telling you that you should be more like Europe. Look at the UK. All right, well, leftists, I'm looking. And what I keep seeing in the UK is that these Brits didn't heed the warnings of George Orwell's 19 1984, they didn't take it seriously enough, and now across the country it seems like people are being arrested or harassed by police for what exactly? Thought crimes. For saying the wrong words. For hurting people's feelings. For being on the wrong side of an issue. Or being on the perceived wrong side by the government. We should be more like the UK. We should be more like Canada. Yeah, how about no? How about never? How about let's not join this slow march into leftist authoritarianism? We got another clip coming out of the UK where a woman is being, I think it can only be described as harassed by police for praying in public and protesting as a pro-life advocate. We got some stuff to get into. Let's roll the tape. All right, folks, if you ever want to see a descent into dystopia, this is what it looks like. Are you here as part of an organized protest? No. You're not. Are you part of a pro-life organization or pro-choice organization? I am, but I'm not here in that capacity. Okay. Are you protesting? No. Are you here to pray for the lives of unborn children? Uh, that, it's a little bit leading, but no, I'm not. Okay. Uh, can your actions be carried out elsewhere? I can pray elsewhere, but I, I want to pray here today. Right. Why have you chosen the location here to stand? You know this is an abortion centre that I'm standing outside of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you aware that there is a public space protection order in place here? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, are you aware that you're breaching the public protection order? I'm not, no. Uh, will you move from here to outside of the exclusion zone? I, I don't believe I need to. Okay. Um, if not, why are you not willing to move outside of the exclusion zone? Because I don't believe I need to. I believe I've got a right to be here. Okay. Right, um, if you believe that you're present to protest in any form, um, obviously we're going to need to issue with a fixed penalty notice. Sorry, can you explain that again? Yes, um, we've, if you believe that you're present to protect in any form... If, if, I'm, if I believe what, sorry? If you believe that you are present to protest no, in I, any I'm not, form... No, I'm not here to protest, no. Right, um, well you're in the PSPO... You, you, you're breaching it. Well, so I'm in the zone, be, yes, but so I'm not protesting. Be, yes, so you're going to be given a fixed penalty notice today. Okay. Um, and um, that will be given to you with the offence and failure to comply with the public space protection order under the Antisocial Behaviour Crime and Policing Act 2014. Um, and my colleague's going to issue with the ticket. Um, Just to make it clear, I'm not protesting. Okay. But you know you can't be here. I'll just point out the PSPA from there. I think you've seen that before. I know there's a zone here, but I'm not protesting within the zone. I'm just silently praying. What's your data verse, Isabel? Uh you know, I can't even believe that this is a thing. What you are watching there is government resources, taxpayer dollars, being spent to show up at somebody's home, interrogate them over their personal religious and political views, and their mere peaceful presence at a protest where they prayed in public. That is insane. There's no other way to say it. The fact that this is even happening should shock you to the core. It's an overreach of power. This is what happens when you give the government too much power. This is what happens when the government forms a million different freaking useless departments to regulate, control, and censor. This is what Democrats want. Frankly, this is the Democrat wet dream. This was the intention of Joe Biden's little Ministry of Truth experiment that backfired spectacularly. And this is also where you're headed. Oh, don't you think that's a little bit of an exaggeration? No, no, it's not. Pay attention. Look what is happening across the Western world. 
This would have been unfathomable to even suggest a decade ago. You know, liberals used to be the staunchest of free speech advocates. Now this is what they advocate for, and this is what they're implementing on a policy level. If the United States Constitution didn't exist, to be completely honest, we'd probably already be seeing stuff like this in places like California and elsewhere. You know, it's like I always say, the rhetoric has gotten so insane. There's this sort of LARPing that's happening on the left side, where they've been convinced, or they've convinced themselves in their own mind, that they're fighting against some sort of great existential evil, and that's the basis of their justification. Censorship is justified because they're fighting evil. Yeah, what evil are you fighting, stupid? A random Christian woman who prayed on the street and happened to participate in a protest? Over the last incident that we covered in this dystopian hellscape known as the United Kingdom, the whole lesbian Nana controversy, where a massive group of police officers stormed a woman's home and arrested a young autistic girl for telling a female police officer that she reminded her of her lesbian Nana. They treated it as some sort of hate crime or, of course, the right way to describe it, wrong think, criminal speech, and they dragged her out of her home. Of course, this was the officer in question. Oh, and by the way, once again, coming out of the UK, that officer has been spotted once again, pepper spraying protesters in the face. <laughs> We are seeing a horrid, horrifying abuse of power, and like I always say, a slow march towards authoritarianism. You know, the left likes to fearmonger about authoritarianism. Donald Trump's gonna take over, and then overnight, he's gonna become a dictator, and we're gonna be living under tyrannical regime. It's a ridiculous fearmongering talking point. That's not how it happens. A shift towards authoritarianism, top-down government authoritarian control, happens slowly, and generally people don't see it because it's covered by the guise of compassion, unity, equality. It's always the same thing. Every cultural revolution was started by some big vision, big ambition leftist with some sort of ambitious goal to rid the world of inequality. In this case, to rid the world of hate and bad mean words and bad feelings. But where does it lead? It leads to police officers showing up at your home because you made a tweet that was illegal. You said something that wasn't approved by the government. So you're either arrested or you lose social credit points. Folks, we are on the precipice. We are on the precipice of an out-of-control plunge into authoritarianism. It is staring you directly in the eye. All these places that these leftists want to model after are all the same places that are closest to actually losing their democracy, to actually losing freedom, to actually losing rights. It's the same hypocrisy as per usual. The same people going on and on and on and on about democracy are the same people willing to shut you out of democracy based on some sort of perceived altruistic goal. The same people warning about misinformation and disinformation are the same ones promoting non-stop lies and propaganda. The same people who talk about rights, trans rights, and these rights, and those rights, when no rights are actually under threat in the way that they're perceiving it, are the same people who are actively attempting to strip your Second Amendment rights and First Amendment rights. Wake up and smell the coffee. Just look at what's happening in the UK. Look at what's happening under wannabe dictator Justin Trudeau and take the warning very, very seriously. People are being arrested and harassed by police officers over words. What an awful, awful country. Anyways, that's what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.